Sup, homies? I got some rad eye candy for you today with a great high-speed shot I captured using a Phantom V642 camera from Aimed Research. We'll get to that and some explanation as to why I'm blowing up body armor in a moment, but first, a word from our sponsor. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene body armor is much lighter than ceramic composite or steel armor at a given threat level. This is a woven plastic material that is compressed in layers into a solid plate. It tends to be more expensive than ceramic or steel armor, but did I mention it's lighter? Holy cow polyethylene pleats are noticeably lighter. Enough to make a big impact on how much gas you've got left in your tank after working in your armor for a day, and that's why lots of folks are willing to pay a little more for this style of plate. The model we'll be testing today is a shot stopped Iridium D1652 PCS. It's just under under one inch thick and the 10 by 12 sappy cut we'll be shooting weighs 3.4 pounds. That's about the same as three mags of 5.56. It's NIJ level three. What level three means is that it must be able to stop 7.62 by 51 millimeter M80. It isn't required to stop any other threat, but the manufacturer calls it a level three plus. Now, that isn't an NIJ rating. It's just a term that manufacturers use to indicate their product exceeds the requirements for level three in some way. It doesn't actually have to mean anything at all, but it usually means the manufacturer is giving their own assurance the armor can stop certain threats that are not part of the NIJ level three standard. In this case, Shot Stop lists a few threats this plate is intended to protect against. That's cool, but I'm going to blow it up first to see if I can make it delaminate a little. Then I'm going to hit it with a mess of threats that it isn't rated for int or intended to stop. What I plan to do is just plain cheating unfairness, but I'm going to see if I can perforate this plate with something it is not rated to stop. If you value fair play and civilized behavior, turn away now. If you are here to see a ballistic snuff film in which I murder an innocent body armor in gratuitous detail, walk this way and feast thine eyes upon dot 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 the horror. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't think any of those cameras caught how freaking high this thing went. <laughs> that was amazing. This, uh, this is just the cover came off a little bit. Seems intact. Let's, let's shoot it. Hurry up, gotta shoot that junk. Shoot, shoot! Uh, pretty swelled up on the front. That's pretty typical. That hit really close to the edge so it pushed some of the polyethylene out a little bit. All of them have a little bit of a bump. Obviously a big huge bump for the 4570. That's insane. I would not want to get hit by any of those but I would definitely rather be wearing this guy if I did have to get hit by one. 
the M855A1 did make it through. That's not surprising. This is a polyethylene plate. It's not supposed to stop M855A1. It did stop everything else. A lot of stuff that it's not really designed to do. Here's where the M855A1 hit. Came through, came out here. A little piece of copper. There's the hit. And there's where it came out of the plate. Okay, first of all, I want to stress that what some guy on the tube of U's does to armor out in the desert should not be described as testing in any remotely empirical kind of way. What you just watched was entirely just a demonstration for entertainment. This plate is intended to protect the wearer from M80 ball and anything else is a bonus. It's not meant to be blowed up and then shot with a bunch of different weirdness like I did. Still, the only thing it didn't stop is M855A1, and that was just a low-down, dirty cheat for me to use. Are you cheating us, kid? Because polyethylene armor, no matter who makes it, is normally vulnerable to regular old vanilla M855, let alone the mighty EPR. I was reasonably certain that M855A1 would defeat this plate, even out of a 10.5 inch barrel, but I feel like I haven't done my due diligence if I don't find something that can defeat a given plate, and A1 is stupid good at getting through things. No, it is an AP, it neither has an armor piercing designation from the army, nor was it intended to defeat any particular armor standard, but M855A1 tends to punch through barriers better than any other 556 ammo except actual AP like M995, and it has outstanding terminal performance while it's doing it. If you're interested in seeing just how good, take a look at some of our older videos where we slowed it down to simulate long range shots. We'll put a link right up there, and of course down in the doobly-doo. For now, it's enough to note that M855A1 is totally cheating, but that's only because I'm a terrible person and I don't play fair. So don't hold that against the plate, I may as well have shot a rifle round through pistol armor. This plate will stop most other 5.56, or for that matter, most other rifle cartridges. It will stop M193 all day long, and that stuff will cut right through level 3 steel armor. Everything is a compromise, and when you buy polyethylene armor, you do it because you know you gotta work in it and wear it like it's your job. Because it's, well... It probably is your job. Wearing armor all day long sucks, and it's a lot worse with heavier armor. Anyway, this armor got blowed all the way up and was still able to stop several loads it wasn't designed to stop in the first place, and I'd say that's pretty good. It even stopped that Gonzo 4570 load that was designed for killing nuclear-powered apocalypse bears, and it stopped the infamous 7-in-6 poison bullet that has such a reputation among communist propaganda enthusiasts. So, should you buy this plate? That's a question only you can answer. There's a lot of factors co to consider, but if M855 and M855A1 are not likely threats for you, and you want to prioritize weight above most other factors, this plate is going to rank pretty highly among the available choices. If you've got your body armor needs covered, and the last item on your list for your Rainbow Six cosplay is night vision, take a look at the products offered by our fine friends at tnvc.com including their new line of consumer grade night vision and if you'd like to find out how to capture crazy fast events like this explosion for yourself get in touch with aimed research i'll put their contact info in the doobly-doo i love you